Okay, guys. We have quail etching. So I need to get this brooder box ready. These, oh, I'm all out of wood chips. These uh, wood chips for shavings are from when we built the rice house. That's over three years ago. So. They're all done. It looks like it's mostly leaves. <laughs> That's the end of them. We're lucky here, in one sense, because we don't need a heat lamp. But we're not lucky in another sense, because it is so hot. <laughs> but there's no heat lamp required here. Or I don't think so. It's already insanely hot. I've done this many, many times. And only once I wish I had a heat lamp. That was back in January this year. It was uh, a little cold, but not. It wasn't the end of the world. I didn't have any any problems. The birds would have been happier with a heat lamp, I'm sure. So here we go. Just need to get some food and water and add some birds. Two distinct colors, huh? There's 19 so far. But there's, uh, let me see, 35 eggs, and then I added 7 the next day, 41 total. And there's uh, over a two day period. That one just came out, see? He's wet, still wet, but still running. Quail are amazing little birds. They come out of the egg pretty much ready to run. Really cool, huh? They haven't eaten or had any water yet. That'll be the next thing. Look at the two different colors they are. Really cool, huh? And when they get big, they're different colors too. They're picking at my hands, see that? Yeah. Really cool, huh? These are fun birds to raise. Very quick growing. When they're this size, you can see them growing just on a daily basis. They, they'll be bigger tomorrow, noticeably bigger tomorrow. This, uh, look at the difference in those two. There's a maximum 12 hours difference between those birds, and they haven't eaten yet. Where are you going, buddy? But there's 19 here. Hopefully we'll get a few more. You can't have that. But as you see, they have a natural instinct to eat. They're picking at everything right now. So we'll get them some food, some water. And the next time you see them, we'll know how many we have. This is uh, pretty cool. They've become my favorite bird to raise, that's for sure. They're a quick incubation, only about 16 or 17 days. These are actually supposed to add tomorrow. So it'll be 16 days this time. And uh, five to six weeks, they'll be butcher size. In about seven weeks, they, you should get your first egg. You know, they're really, really quick. And a lot of fun too. Oh, and they're delicious. Don't tell the tree huggers. <laughs> okay, guys, let's look at the numbers of this. I put, started with 41 eggs. They were put in over two days. 35 the first day, and then seven the next day. They all hatched within a day and a half. Well, they all hatched. 39 out of the 41 hatched. There's the two that didn't. 
and since they've hatched, one has died. I don't know what happened to it. I found it in the water. There was very little water there, not enough to drown it. So I really don't know what happened to it. But anyway, we lost one. So we have 38 out of 41. That's an amazing number for an incubator, that's for sure. And there they are. One of them's really, really big. <laughs> Don't they ever look cool, huh? Hopping and jumping and bouncing around. I tell you, quail are an amazing bird. So strong, so fast. They come out of the egg running, no doubt about it. This little guy is a turkey. He didn't come out of the egg so fast. That's why he's here. He's big, for one. The mom gave up on him. Left him for dead, actually. So for all the people who would say, you can't touch the egg, don't touch the egg, let nature do its thing. This cute little guy would have been eaten by ants. If we left him alone. But now he's alright. Look at him. Leave them alone. Tonight we'll put him outside with his mom. She'll take him back no problem. She's a really good mom and turkeys are easy to add babies to. A chicken on the other hand would not take him back. Very unlikely. You know, bundling up. Safety in numbers, right? See, he wasn't even on the ground. He was riding on everyone else. Yes, Rister. We hear you. We know where you are. They're just fun to watch, huh? And I got so many! <laughs> For an incubator, 38 out of uh, 41, that's an amazing number. For anything, even for mom sitting on eggs, you're never going to get 100%, that's for sure. Or very unlikely. For whatever reason, the babies do it and the big ones. They sleep like they're dead. It looks like they're dead and they're just laying on the ground. Turkey's tired, but they're always in with the turkey, sitting with him, playing with him, poking at him. I think it's a good thing. It keeps them, uh, keeps them moving, so they don't just lay down and die. He's not overly strong yet. Yet uh, yesterday, there you go fight back. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, some cool to watch, so, huh? Okay guys, well, that's it. A very successful quail etching. I need to find somewhere for him to live. Come on, move. Don't need anybody flattened. <laughs> Look at him go.